I'm, I'm a minimum pigmented Aborigine. <laughs> <laughs> What about Indians? Huh? What about Indians? Oh, medium. 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 Medium cooked. You are rare cooked. So what? Less pigmented ones are rare cooked. Rare. Rare cooked. Medium cooked. Do they really call it rare cooked? They call it rare and medium. No, it's, it's raw. <laughs> okay. Rare. Rare cooked. I never heard that term. <laughs> It doesn't exist in English, no. Rare. It's only rare. Rare, rare cooked? Only rare. Yeah, no, rare. No. No. Only rare. Never. Only, only rare. Okay. But you never say rare cooked. No, only rare. Mm. She's an English teacher. English teacher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a medium cooked, it's a rare cooked. <laughs> then now we know what she is teaching. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Garbage. 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 Teaching bloody English. <laughs> to medium cooked people. Medium cooked people. <laughs> Cookies. Brownies. Don't remind me, I want a week's vacation, right? Oh. <laughs> you poor kids. They cannot see you over one week. I am poor. You I are hurt? by the R. By the R? Yeah. What's that? What kind of uh, Cockney English is that? <laughs> My arm. <laughs> no, your English is good. Yeah. My English is bad. Your English is German. Yeah, yeah, Germanish. That's why I have always the excuse I'm German. But you are half English anyway. No? <clears throat> good. Australia, something more? You have an abo. What? Okay. Abodement. It's like an aborigines in abodement. An abo means yeah, you, 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 you get weekly one free or something. If there's no question, I start talking. <laughs> I make no sense. Do you think I make otherwise sense? <laughs> <laughs> The only sense is nonsense. You see? Wherever, wherever a woman is, there's kitchen. <laughs> Men like me because I make women jokes. <laughs> and women like me anyway. <laughs> Good. Yeah, something. Ah, and I am. They call dead trousers. Good. Something from there. No, you, Mister. Do you drive motorbike? No. Vikram always looked like that. Mm. There's a lot of differences. Huh? <laughs> There's a lot of differences. No, we said... Uh, yeah, you have that, but everything else is like... I don't... I, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> she looks down. <laughs> <laughs> now we know where women look, but they compare. Men compare head size. <laughs> Comedy. Comedy, comedy. Good. Yeah, Europa. Something from the kitchen. <laughs> Wherever a woman is, says Hell's Kitchen. You're hungry. 
Yeah, daughter. Mother. They come already as a family and still no question. <laughs> Very thoughtful. Two hours ago it was... Oh. Good. Russia. Just I, I always try again. I know there's nothing coming in. Machel, come on, don't be so stingy. He hasn't spoken for long. He's Dutch. You said that uh, am I, I am is the best that you can do in the present. It's not a doing, it's being in the am I, I am. It's like it becomes a river of present. It starts as am I, I am because the question is the answer. So you cannot make a difference. It's indifferent. Am I, I am is not different because it's come am I, I am, am I, am, am I. In the end, it's always this I am. So out of the question, is the, only, the question is already the answer. So, it's just like an uninterrupted I am. So it's the best that we can do. In well, if you want to have a peace of mind, then there will be a peace of mind. Because there is no differentiation in it. The mind needs differences. So in the am I, I am, there is no difference. Without a difference, the mind cannot survive. So if you can permanently stay in the am I, I am, the mind disappears as like a pff, as it was never there. It has nothing to hold on anymore. It's just no anchor, nothing, no, no story. You cannot make a story out of am I, I am. It's like, the story needs differences. Then it, yesterday it was on that time, it was something, blah, blah, blah. But if there is no differences, always only like a... So that's the best you can do. You will not attain yourself for, by that, or you will never attain what you are with it. But if you want to have a peace of mind, this would be, I would say, the best, as I see it. But if you were to permanently stay in that... No one stays in that. You cannot stay in it, because there, be there is no effort. First, it's a little effort, and then you just disappear, because it was always there. Your being was uninterrupted mm -hmm. in the beginning, so it was never needed any effort. But by by just being that, what is that being? Am I? I am being that. That I am the body. I am. I am German. I am Indian. Disappears. Because in that there is no nationality, there is no country, there is no birth, there is no death. Because all of that needs differences. So no idea can survive in that. So it's the best you can do. If you ask me. Because this is already present. This presence of that you are, this presence being, which is, has no location actually. It's here and there and everywhere. It's like, it's nowhere and now here, wherever. This is, you cannot find the end of it, of that I am, I am. You can stretch in the whole universe to the infinite, and still there is this being, inside and outside. It's an infinite outside, infinite inside, because in that am I, I am -ness, there is no border, no limit, no, no boundary. In that no one can survive as a relative me. So by abiding into that, like Ramana, abiding into that, what is your natural state, uh, all that ideas naturally cease away like butter in the sun. 
because that, that little ship, the sailor, can, without any sea, without any harbor, just... That's also free floating. That is blizzagatas, this whatever is this life flowing, and then there is this love and wisdom, blah, 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 but this life is just flows between it. In, the, in spite of both, whatever. So in that sense. So if it's meant to happen for you, you will disappear in I amness. Which is actually not a pronounced one. It's just the presence. And the presence, that is as famous now from Mekatolo or something. So it works. If it works. If it's meant to work. Can one say that this presence is also energy? Why should that not be energy? Sorry? Why especially should that not be energy? The question is, what is not energy? Or what is not consciousness? Because energy and consciousness is not different. So, otherwise, that would be especially no energy. No, it's like when you're really fed up with being born and all this concept and things, that is like being a baby. Like a baby is in that natural state of I am. Not pronouncing it even, it's just a being in the presence. Being the presence, because the baby has no boundaries, there are no limits. You cannot, if you ask a baby, where do you end? It doesn't know. There is no center. Then they call it like a child. That's easy because that's your really because since then nothing happens to you. As a baby you already there was this being. And before I even was that being. And then the baby and then as they say with three years, suddenly there's a sailor. And there's a doer. So the center is the ego, which is at no, three it's or whatever age that the ego starts identifying with It's ownership. It's ownership with ownership is ego. Your mother succeeded to make you an owner of your shit. Because she was an owner of her shit factory and she makes you an owner of your fuck shit factory. Because she's fed up making your ass, whipping your ass. <laughs> yeah, if she would laugh to pamper you all the time, she would never tell you it's your body. She would just keep you as a baby. Some try, but it doesn't work. Because they pamper the children until the spoiled. And then they call them, no one wants to have a husband like the son of that lady. <laughs> Pampered. So. So. Does self-inquiry help you remain that I am? Yeah, that was the question. Self-inquiry is uh, say, who am I? I don't trust so much. Because ego wants to get out of that iron-ness. It doesn't want to out it, it wants to survive. Yes. So, it will find some reason, some excuse and try to differentiate itself it from... Will, it will again define something, yes. what so makes ask, him special. Yeah, so if you ask the question, who am I? Then it will be a special one who is the answer to the question. Yeah, that's the nature. Then you say, you, many claim that I inquired, but who am I? And then I was the answer to the question. Who am I? I. Who am I? The I, I. I, 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 I. So it, it takes it personal. So and then there is one schizophrenic I, the one I who is before the other I. The one who is prior to the I. So the prior to the I is still I, 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 I. Identified. That's called identification. It just takes another place, another reference point. So that's why for me, am I, I am is not an escape. That can t be taken as an escape by being not in this world, being special, 
prior to everything. Everything else is illusion, but not me. That's like a little escape. So I'm real and everything else is not. <laughs> that comes out of who am I? <sighs> Me. No, it's a, I think 99.999% is taken as that. Maybe by accident one disappeared in it. But most of them, they claim that they realize their true nature by being that what is the answer to all questions. And I did the same. I know how it functions. Who am I was the pointer that Ramana... It's not a pointer, it's a self-inquiry. A self-inquiry pointer that was given by... Not by Ramana, it's this Upanishads, it's as old as the Vedas. It's not invented by Ramana. Reinvented. Repackaged. Re <laughs> Ramana never invented anything. Who am I is that... It's so old as the humanity. Yeah. It's still yeah. since... All the books are full of it. Mm -hmm. so, but everyone is associating it with Ramana, but it's not true. Mm -hmm. It didn't work then, it didn't work now. <laughs> <laughs> if it would have worked, it would be what? Thanks God and praise the Lord that it didn't work, just in case. Because <laughs> if it would work, it would work for everybody and then what is all the awakened special one? What would they do? They had to work again somewhere. We don't want it to work. Of course, you want to work. And you know, by not wanting to work, you work very hard <laughs> of trying not to work. No, we don't want it to work. I mean, we don't want, we want to be pampered. Say it, I want to be pampered, I pray to the Lord, and just in case, the big pamperer comes and pampers me, and gives me what I want, because I want to be pampered. Existence should take care about me. That's like the final, final thing, existence takes care. Ha, ha, ha. But not always as you like it, huh? Uh, and then you are angry with your God, because he pampers you are not right. It, took a, it takes like a wire for pampering. Like a songs is in your nappies, and it hurts. You know that every pray prayer is a prayer for pamper. Pamper me, pamper me, give me something. I'm full of shit, please pamper me. I don't dare to pee where I am. Please give me a pamper. <laughs> <laughs> when God is behind me, I, I dare to pee where I am, but not for myself. Alone I'm not strong enough. I need to want pimp. <laughs> yeah, so what else? No, it was, I, I was reading some other books from the disciples from the 30s, 40s from Ramana, and they were, they, in the books you find there was always discussion between them, if it's in Tamil, it's like, who am I or just am I? And I, I'm with the am I people. Because the who is already... Ooh, too personal. Too whatever. Too much self-centered. Egocentric question. Expecting something to come out of it. Because everyone expects something to come out of. Who am I? He wants the answer to be the answer, me. I am the answer to the question, already knowing it. Okay, I, I now ask the question, then it confirms me that I am the answer to all the questions, me. Okay. No, why not? Yes, sweater? <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, don't show tiredness. <laughs> Something more. So when there is presence, be the presence. And when there is absence, be the absence. And be, when, when there is neither, be that what is neither. 
presence of absence. This is your trinity. This is what you are. That Shiva, the trinity of Shiva, which is the presence, Shiva Shakti, and the absence, is, and then that word is Shiva Shambhu. So Shiva alone is, which is called self, reality, Atma. All these different names. Huh? Well, Anjali? Yeah. I can't work out how you can be anything. What? I can't work out how you can be anything. Yeah, but then you come to the conclusion that you're nothing. No, not even that. Yeah, but if you're not even that, then you are not even that. Okay, so but I it's still something. If I don't have any conclusion... Yeah, but then you are that what has no conclusion. You still exist as one who has no conclusion. It's still knowing too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then you know you're, you're fucked anyway. Yeah, so it, Even so when you're no really not that. fucked. When you're really not fucked, you're especially fucked. Yeah. When you're neither fucked or not fucked, you're, then you're really especially fucked. When you're neither conditioned or not conditioned or anything, you are the, wow, the absolute fucker. So what there's, to do takes on another meaning no, here? There, I mean, there's no way out because, what? Yeah. The tendency of getting, trying to define yourself, you cannot get rid of. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. So? So what? <laughs> if it's never will end? If you always try to find you, find yourself or define yourself, whatever, but it would never stop because Buddha, the way is the goal. So looking is the goal. Seeing is the goal. Hmm? But what you are will never be seen or not yeah. seen. Yeah, yeah. So. So expecting to be seen or not seen or even not neither, it's obscene. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, so the tendency is to go to some place where it feels good. Yeah, you all want to have comfort. Yeah, yeah, and then sitting around you, that place gets... Yeah, the carpet, I don't... Yeah, yeah, so here I'm not feeling good, not, um, not having a landing place. Like Kabir, Kabir was a weaver, but he was an unweaver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was a weaver. Yeah. And the biggest guy in India, but he became an unweaver. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> but he came from the weaver, whatever, lower weaver class. And, ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then he became an unweaver. <laughs> <laughs> so he took all the carpets away he, he was making before. <laughs> because the one who made the carpets can only take it away. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. Be the weaver, don't be something what can be catched in the web. The weaver don't, never sits on his own carpet. For that he has customers. <laughs> Guests. <laughs> yeah. That's why I like Kabir. Yeah. Lately in, in Tiro, there, there was a, do you like Rumi? No. Who do you like? Mm, a little bit Kabir. Ooh, too tough. Rumi, everyone, oh, melting into that love bullshit <laughs> and thing. But Kabir, when all the grandeur of the world is seizing away just by being what you are, not totally unexpected, every whatever greatness of the world, all the grandeur of self release all whatever you can imagine as truth and thing, all seizing in that. Totally unexpected. Hmm? Kabir. <laughs> he was hated by the Brahmin. Mm. Because of the Muslim thing? No, because he was saying, fucking Brahmins, what, you, what they think they are. All uh -huh. liars. Mm -hmm. All the puchas and all praying to a stone. What kind of artificial bullshit is that? Mm. He was so straight. <laughs> <laughs> Pandit, you got it all wrong. Do what? Pandit, you got it all wrong. Yeah, yeah. If that is what he would say. Yeah. And he hated the Brahmin caste. Uh -huh. We were putting it down, everything he put down. 
And even the low class, the low class, they said, you are a special class, you are the biggest, whatever. He was a, a, co a corner class. Yes. <laughs> no, it's strange, huh? No, when I say from the moment you are, it's all too late. Whatever you do, it's too late. I mean it. Whatever you know, it's ignorance. Whatever that false is false. Whatever you try. You can define it gets finer and finer or more clever, more intelligent, but it's all false, 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 false. It's a song of falsity you sing to yourself. False, 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 false. Every conclusion <laughs> limiting yourself. Yeah. Even if you're if your experience of self is unlimited, you're limited. Whatever you claim to be, whatever you identify, whatever you, whatever, is limited to itself, limited by falsity. So what to do? You all went to Papaji and saying, oh, you're all set, it's all transistory, it's all a transit lounge and don't land anywhere. But still, everyone is landing somewhere. Hmm? No. All the Papaji people I know are landing somewhere. In emptiness or there, they all make their little home somewhere. Yeah. In not seeking or in whatever, giving up and... All of them. All this famous whatever offsprings. Yeah, they were landing somewhere. In some self-realization and, and truth and whatever. In peace, even in peace, if you land in peace, you are landing somewhere. There's no choice. What no choice? You will land who, ha somewhere who has no know. choice? Who has no choice? The nobody has no choice. Who is that nobody? You don't have to justify that you're stupid. Do it anyway. Justifying, I cannot help myself, I am stupid because I have no choice. Of course you have a choice. To be stupid. It's not that much. What, what, is this, what is this excusing one? What, what, who do you excuse? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse it's me. It's not excusing, it's, course it's an idea that you have a choice. No, you excuse yourself. Who, who gives a fuck of having or not having a choice? And then excusing when I have no choice. And then you are, I'm not guilty. It's like being in a, in a courthouse of um, trying to get whatever, unpunished for what you have not done. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm not guilty, I have no choice. My wife was just unbearable, I killed her, but I have no choice. What? I think I would kill, I, you should, one should kill the wife before you marry her. And the husband before he's born. No, kill your parents before they meet, if you can. No choice. <laughs> it's always amazing the absolute excuses himself. I had no choice. I'm just. I haven't done anything. It was not me, it was God. <laughs> no, it's always those little excuses. Yeah. But you aware you are absolutely responsible for every fucking thing, whatever happens. Especially you and you and you and you and you and you. <laughs> Whoever, whatever bullshit happens, you are absolutely responsible. Who else? I had no choice. 
Like Para Brahman says, I, I had to start dreaming, I had no choice. Buddha excused himself, I called him a divine accident. Oh, sorry, I fucked you. Oh, but it was an accident. Now I see it. 